Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jesse and today we're going to be talking about an EDLC ultra capacitor. And uh, if you don't know what that is, um, I'm going to be explaining in a bit, but an EDLC stands for electrochemical double layer capacitor. So um, before we start anything, let me just explain the real basics of what a capacitor is exactly. So um, what is what is a capacitor? Well, a capacitor is a method of storing so, well, it's not a method. It's a device that is used to store charge. And um, I'm just going to draw a quick illustration of uh, a capacitor. So, um, you can just imagine this as being... Uh, so, basically, this is a wire. And this is some sort of a voltage source. Let's say it's some sort of... A, let's say it's a... 9 volt battery. And uh, right here is this is this is our capacitor. All right. So essentially what what's going to happen is when the voltage uh starts flowing there are going to be electrons uh that move to one of the electrodes. So where are the electrodes? Well, you see these big black bars on the capacitor? These are the electrodes, all right? So these two would be the two electrodes of the capacitor. And uh, in the middle here, there's gonna be a little area called the dielectric. Dielectric, all right? Uh, but now that you get the overall idea, let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see. So this is our big capacitor now. Two electrodes, you got your dielectric here. And you have charge coming in from either side. So essentially what's gonna happen is when the battery turns on, uh, these are neutrally charged. So you've got negative, positive, negative, positive. Um, you know, it's just a, any old material is gonna have a neutral charge. It's not gonna have any charge, um, which means there's, when something is charged, it means it has either more electrons or um, less electrons. Uh, and if it had uh, less electrons than protons, it would be positively charged. And if it has more electrons than protons, it would be negatively charged. So um, here, this whole thing is neutrally charged. And uh, what's going to happen is, essentially, this dielectric right here, is separating um, the two electrodes. So right now, current cannot pass through the dielectric. That is the whole point of it. Uh, it's meant to stop things from flowing through. So what's gonna happen is when there's a voltage applied, there's gonna be all these electrodes which are gonna wanna move. Uh, so they're gonna go down this wire. And uh, as I said previously, you can imagine this is connected here. Uh, they're gonna move down and they're gonna go into this electrode, right? So now what's gonna happen is basically, that was your um, uncharged uh, capacitor. So your charged capacitor would look something more like this. You'd have your two electrodes, but now we got a lot of positive charges here, maybe only a few negative charges, and this is almost all negative charge. So you have a big positively charged and negatively charged electrode. So what this means is this is a way you can store electricity um, because after it's completely charged, um, now uh, what's gonna happen is when you connect, let's say you stop applying the voltage and you start letting the electrons flow, it's gonna do something called discharge, which means that the, electro the electrons are gonna start flowing back to the way they came. So uh, actually the electrons will be flowing back this way, sorry. The electrons are gonna flow this way uh, back to the positive terminal. So the reason that this is um, important is because let's say you attach some sort of light bulb here as an example. Now when, when you discharge it, the electrons are gonna flow, and you're gonna go through the light bulb and the light bulb can turn on now. So this is a great way to store energy. 
Um, so now let's get into the EDLC part of it. Let's talk about our electrochemical double layer capacitor. And that may seem like a pretty big name, and uh, but it's really not all that confusing. So um, the difference between an a regular capacitor and an EDLC is that an EDLC is something called an ultra capacitor. Some people call it a super capacitor. Um, but the reason that it's called that is because it has a very high energy density. It has a very high energy density in comparison to something like a regular capacitor. A regular capacitor, it really can't store that much energy. Um, if you've ever seen them on a circuit board or something, it pretty much, it can barely have any charge. An EDLC, on the other hand, is very high, and it gets close um, to actually where some batteries are in terms of the amount that they can actually store. Uh, so now you may be asking, it's got this high energy density, but how does it do it? What is different about an EDLC in comparison to any old capacitor? Um, well, the difference deals with the dielectric. So you know how before we talked about how when you have two electrodes, in the middle there's the dielectric right? The difference is they don't use this dielectric. Instead, this is an electrolyte. So what that means is um, you have the electrodes here. And um, let's say this one is positively charged. This one's negatively charged. What's going to happen in the electrolyte, which this would not happen with a dielectric, is you're going to start seeing some ions move towards uh, the sides. And an ion is just a charged uh, particle. So since this is positively charged, there's going to be some negative ions that want to go over there uh, within the electrolyte. There's going to be some positive ions over here that are gonna build up along the surface of this electrode. So you see, one electrode is gonna be positively charged. Uh, well, sorry, rather one side of the electrode will be positively charged. Then there's the layer in the center, and then the other side will be negatively charged. Uh, and it will be separated by this electrode. And the positive charges will build here, and this builds what's called a double layer. Uh, so that's why it's called the electrochemical double layer capacitor because it's got two layers here. It's got the negative and positive. Um, so what this does is it's great at improving the energy density because if you think about it, um, now these are a lot more charged. You know, it's it's got so much more potential to try to stay on one electrode. Uh, and that's what you want to get something with high energy density and of power density too. Um, but another thing that makes an EDLC such high energy density, it really deals with the surface area and the distance between the electrodes. So how a capacitor works is the bigger the surface area um, and the, the smaller distance between the electrodes, the higher energy density you're gonna get. And that's basically what they do with an EDLC. They make them very close together uh, and they make sure the surface area is very big because if you think about it, the bigger the surface area of an electrode, the more ions, the more charge you're just gonna be able to store on the sides of it. So that's basically the whole point of the, um, of the EDLC, is to get high energy density. Um, and I'd recommend you look more into EDLCs. Uh, they're really quite important for uh, the advancements in high energy density capacitors or ultra capacitors. Um, and one advantage, you may say, why not just use a battery? A battery is very high energy storage. What, what possible advantage would I get from using a capacitor to store some energy? Um, well, one thing you're gonna get is your typical battery that you're gonna be using for this sort of context. Um, you're only gonna get around 10 to the third cycles. And don't get me wrong, this is a big number. Uh, so basically a cycle is, um, you know how we were talking about the capacitor charging and discharging? That would be considered a cycle. Uh, so how many times can you charge and discharge a battery? Well, it's about 10 to the third cycles. A capacitor, or an EDLC capacitor, on the other hand, can get around 10 to the sixth cycles. 
So this means you're gonna get so much more um, life out of it. It's not gonna die like um, as quickly as batteries would. So this is a big advantage if you're doing something where you require a ton of cycles, especially something like um, energy storage where you would wanna make sure that you have a lot of cycles so you don't have to replace the battery or capacitor, it's a great idea to get more cycles out of it. Um, and the other advantage to a capacitor is that it charges um, much faster. A capacitor can charge very quickly. So that's a big advantage because Let's say you're trying to charge an electric car. You don't want to be waiting there for an hour, you know? So a capacitor could be um, a good alternative. So um, there are other types of ultra capacitors uh, that I will probably be making videos about later. But the main type is the EDLC, which we talked about here. And remember, the EDLC is the one that has two layers. It's got the regular layer of electrons and then it has the ions that move to the other side of the electrode, and that builds the double layer. Um, but you've also got something called pseudocapacitors, which um, are very interesting, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a future video. Um, and you, should, you also should know that about hybrid capacitors. Which the thing about hybrid capacitors is that they sort of use a combination of the EDLC and a pseudocapacitor. So essentially, if you imagine the capacitor here, one side is an EDLC, and one side would be a pseudocapacitor. And uh, that's a sort of simplistic version of it, um, but there's more advanced versions. So um, I hope you enjoy, and uh, I'll be probably making some more videos about ultracapacitors very soon, because they're quite interesting, and I think they've got a lot of potential to be used uh, in energy storage and a lot of other fields where you need quick charge and discharge. So thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.